Now, another thing I'd like to point out too is uh, is related to that in terms of the law of attraction, and that is to do with awareness. I'd like to discuss with you the principle of awareness. We can draw two columns. There are the things in our selves that we see and there are the things in ourselves that are unseen in other words we are unaware of them completely unaware right? and then there are the things in ourselves that we see or even that we think we see yeah. now if you think about it if we knew everything about ourselves and we had a sincere desire to change anything in ourselves that was out of harmony with the real self, the self that God created us to be, then we would already be perfect. And not only would we already be perfect, you know, in terms of the person we are, we'd be perfect in our body. We'd be perfect in our, you know, we wouldn't age, we wouldn't get sick. We would be perfect in every relationship. We'd probably be with our soulmate and we knew that they, they, we know who that is and we'd be with them probably unless they resisted that relationship. We would see everything. Now the fact is that the majority of people on earth are not living that life. So that means there must be a lot in this list. A lot of things within us that are unloving because it's all about growing in love as well that we cannot see or even that we believe are loving when they're actually unloving there must be a lot because if there wasn't a lot none of us would grow old none of us would get sick right we would have a life that's happy all the time that we wouldn't have any problems that we'd, we'd attract a lot of friends and and loving people around us as a result so it's interesting when we have a discussion about the law of attraction often people raise issues and questions with me and I then raise something that they cannot see and when they can't see it they then assume that it means that it's not there and that I'm wrong right? now you've probably even noticed that in your interactions with other people when somebody comes along for a particular help to you how many times have you told them well I feel it's this and they don't even see it right it's very sometimes very difficult isn't it to see your own issues to see what's really going on inside of yourself and we must understand that there must also be a long list of things that we cannot see if we're not perfect and if we're not staying young and if we're not you know feeling good all the time and we're not happy all the time and we're not having a life that's just living in our desire all the time then there must be a lot of things we don't see because that's what God created our life to be God created us to live in our desire all the time be happy all the time to enjoy our relationships all the time God, that's how God designed us in fact and God designed the whole universe to help us be that as well and the fact is and, and, and I know it's difficult for many of us to trust that God designed that by the way because because we see a world that's very different to that don't we so we see a world where very few people actually seem to have a happy life very few people seem to have a really happy relationship very few people really seem to you know be growing young again in fact you know when we look around us you know my, everyone we see pretty much looks like they're growing old and we see them 10 years later and they've got more wrinkles and they look a bit older and they're usually a bit un more unhealthy and so forth and this is all evidence around us that there's a different reality and so what we tend to do is we tend to accept that as God's reality as if God created it but, but I'm saying God never created it like that there's got to be things inside of us that we don't see that are creating it like that and those things are all unloving they're all something to do with love in other words there's always something to learn about love and that when we learn that particular thing about love a res there will always be a result a positive result once we learn that thing about love so the problem we face um, is that there are many things that we see 
you know, about ourselves. Some of those things we might see, uh, we would classify in our facade as good. You know? Sometimes some of the things we think are good are actually not good. So in other words, we might, for example, see that occasionally we get angry, but we think we're justified getting angry at those occasions because, you know, somebody hurt you or somebody was unjust with you and that's the time to be angry. And we believe that, right? So there are things that we see that we, that we believe are actually good that might not be loving. Right? But then there are also things that we see that we internally generally view as bad. Right? And therefore we have a lot of judgment about them. We don't really like to see them. You know, we see them, but we don't like to see them. It's like looking in the mirror in the morning, noticing that you've just got a new pimple on your face, and the instant reaction is, if I can't get rid of this straight away, this is not good, right? And so we see that pimple is a bad thing now, and it's going to spoil the rest of our day because people will notice it and so forth. And so what we try to do is get rid of it, and when we're not successful getting rid of it, then we feel quite disappointed. And it's very much the same with our emotions, our bad feelings. We try to do exactly the same as that. We try to get rid of it straight away. And if we can't get rid of it straight away, then we try to ignore it and make, it, so it make out it's not even there anymore. And this is what we do. Even with the things we see. But what do we do with the things we don't see? Well, with the things we don't see, we are in complete denial of. We go into complete denial. Now God is trying to get you out of denial every single moment of your life. So while you're desperately holding on to denial about something, God is trying to do exactly the opposite. God is trying to expose that thing while you're trying to deny it. Does that make sense? That's God's intention. Because remember, God's intention is to get you back to your real self. You're never going to get back to the real self unless you see or have awareness of what's really inside. And you're also never going to get back to your real self if you see something as good when it's bad or you see something as bad when it's good. You're never going to get back to your real self if you do those things. And so it's going to require a growth in awareness and a growth in awareness is always going to be challenging, isn't it? How can you grow without being challenged? Well, it's very difficult. For most of us, we don't initially have a strong desire for growth. We have a strong desire what for what? Most of the time, to stay the same. Particularly when we get things just seemingly nice then we stay the same. We want to stay the same. We don't want to grow beyond that. And we have a lot of fear as a result. So if we look at what God is trying to do in terms of our life, this is what God is attempting to do with us. Through this law of attraction, God is attempting to get us from denial into initially into awareness to help us to become aware and then into the emotions of awareness, which usually begin with anger-based emotions, and then into, usually there's a layer of addictions that we need to then address, and then into our fear-based emotions, and then into our grieving-based emotions, which are the actual... These emotions are the healing emotions. These are the emotions that will heal us. That's what God's attempting to do with us. Every single moment.